Hey there, I'm Walt and welcome to Wix Ideas, the place where Wix website owners and creatives just like you learn how to turn your Wix website into powerful professional tools that actually get results. In this video, I'm showing you how to set up the Wix donations. The easiest way to accept contributions directly on your site, whether you are supporting a course, running a non-profit or just want to add a paid forward option to your website. Then this tool makes it super simple and before we dive in if you're all about building better websites without the overwhelm go ahead and hit that subscribe button i drop fresh wix tutorials every single week to help you work smarter and not harder so when should you use the wix donations so first things first it integrates directly into your wix website so there's no need for any third party tools and secondly you can create multiple campaigns for different needs it supports both one-time and recurring donations and of course it's fully responsive on mobile and desktop which is a very crucial thing in 2025 now let's get practical with this I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step method to set this up now firstly this feature only works when you are on a paid plan that accepts payment so if you're on a paid plan that doesn't accept payments then it won't work so here we have the core plan that works with accept payments and we have the other ones that business and the business elites if you don't have any of these plans you want to upgrade to set up your payments and next when you head over to my business you can add this app from my business or you can add it from the store right over here in the store and then you can head over to the search bar and search for wix donations now this is the option that you're looking for so you can click on wix donations now this is a free app as you can see it's free to install and if you scroll down you can see a little bit more of the details manage your donations and donors directly from wix collect one time and recurring donations for any course collect multiple donations forms to the same campaign and design and customize your donation widgets to match your brand languages so you can you definitely use it if your language is specified in any of these categories now i recommend you going through the reviews to see if this is something that works best for you but let's go ahead and click on add to sites and that is adding the week's donations to the site so we're going to take a look at how that works pretty soon all right we have a widget just behind our page and that means that we can definitely add this to any pages of our website great i'm sure you'll be wondering why i have this one over here if you haven't watched that video i set up wix donation using wix forms and which is also a free way for you to add wix donations however the app has better features and that is why i'm making this tutorial for you all right so i'm just going to create a dedicated page for this i'm going to go ahead and cut that and i'm going to go ahead and create a new page i'm going to call this page wix donations now once that is done go ahead and paste that back on that page now here is our form so you can go ahead and stretch that out and make sure that that is aligned on our website now you can see we have a blank design and that's because we've not created a campaign yet we're going to go ahead and choose a campaign now when you click on choose a campaign we're going to load all the campaigns that you currently have so since this is our first time setting this up we have to create our own new campaign all right so this is how you set up the donations and over here you can see it on your dashboard on the catalog you can see the donations which is a wix app so let's give this campaign a name and I'm going to call it annual community fundraising. Now this name is entirely up to you. It depends on what you're running. If you have a non-profit, you can give it a name relevant to what campaign that you're running. I'm just using this as an example. Now over here, we have an image that will show up on the checkout and the donors will also see this image. So we can go ahead and change that image. Now I have several images here. I'm just going to go over to media from Wix. I'm going to search for fundraiser. All right. I'm going to choose this image right over here. I'm going to add that to page. All right. So that's my image right there. That image will show up in the checkouts. And next we have the settings and here we have the donation frequency and we have different options for one time or monthly or weekly or yearly so it depends on how often that the frequency needs to be they can choose which plan that they want so let's just go ahead and choose all four all right so the donation amounts over here so let's go ahead and add a custom amount for twenty dollars and hit on enter go ahead and enter 50 hit on enter and you can also add another one for 100 and then 500 and hit on enter so this will allow them to directly select a suggested amount and here we can let donors enter a custom amount right over here we can choose a minimum amount that they need to 
pay when they are paying they need to enter a minimum amount and the maximum amount that they can pay is let's say one thousand five hundred dollars now this is entirely up to you but basically this makes sure that your donors don't overpay or underpay right here you also want to set up a campaign goal depending on what the campaign is about um maybe you're trying to raise a specific amount of money you can go ahead and add that so let's say we are raising ten thousand dollars now that will be the goal and once that goal is reached you can decide to continue accepting donations after the goal is reached or you can go ahead and unselect that to stop receiving donations once the goal is reached all right so i'm going to go ahead and continue accepting donations after the goal is reached and right over here you can set a fundraising deadline so this is the deadline for when the fundraising is due go ahead and select a due date let's go ahead and say we want this to be on the 31st of may and you can also decide to continue accepting donations past the deadline or you can also go ahead and uncheck that so let's just leave ours checked and lastly we have the notes from donors you can allow the donors to actually add in custom notes maybe a thank you message or something and we're going to have a look at that pretty soon so go ahead and click on save great now we have our annual community fundraiser and here is our campaign and here we have the funds collected we have the number of people who have donated we have the date were treated and days left for our deadline and here we have the progress of our campaign goal so here are some options when you click on this archive the campaign or you can edit the campaign or you can view donations here when you begin to see donations on your site then definitely all of them should show up here and this is under the sales and orders and it's filtered by products and our community fundraising all right so let's go ahead and close that and over here we have a drop down that allows us to select our campaign and we have the annual community campaign that we just created now this is how it looks like and most importantly we can freely customize the design of this widget go ahead and click on that let's just take a look at elements here are the elements that you decide to show and when you hover you can see that it shows you what elements you are hovering on and the element that you want to hide and here we have the donor notes title for example that can be hidden or the amount title okay so you can decide on what you want to hide and next we have the settings let's have a look at the settings all right so we have the frequency settings here and we have the default selected frequency we can choose which of the frequencies is selected by default you can leave yours at one time and here we also have the default amount which is right over here you can also select which one is selected by default I'm just going to leave mine as is and let's head over to the layout okay so we have the padding over here if we increase that you can see that's the padding or the distance between the elements and the container itself so let's just leave ours at around 20 pixels i think that is looking great and you can also decide to change the text direction if you want it from right to left or from left to right i'm just going to leave mine by default to be left to right here we have the design and when we head over to the design we have the background you can choose the background of the donation form okay so here you can directly click on each of these elements to change them and here we have make a donation i'm just going to call mine annual community fundraiser fundraising all right so for the text description or the campaign description let's go ahead and generate with ai let's use the text with ai and over here i'm just going to describe what this is about write a short description for my annual community fundraising campaign widgets telling my donors to donate kindly all right so over here you can change the default tone of voice um type of site is business and over here you can choose what you want i'm just going to go with casual and save we'll go ahead and click on this button to generate some text all right so that's fine i'm just going to go ahead and use the text and i'm going to go over here and edit what we have here so let's go ahead and delete this first part all right i think that is looking good great here you can also go ahead and edit this element here which is the manage goal as you can see we have all the different texts you can try to make them bolder or change the fonts you know just make it look unique to your brand so basically we can edit every single text on here and for the progress bar you can also click on that and go to design and you can see the color that we have right there so you can use your brand color 
and for me i'm just going to go ahead and use this yellow right over here and the background you can see that the background is that color i'm just going to use this um, gray uh, let's just change that to like 60 percent opacity and the corner radius i'm going to make 100 pixels i think that is looking all right for me so here we have the box container let's go to the background we can change the background to your brand color just going to change mine to yellow and the border i'm also going to change to my brand color right over there and i'm just going to increase the width of the border a little bit more and for the corner radius i'm just going to make that 10. great so that's how it looks like and you can also go ahead and apply the same changes to the rest of your elements so let's just go ahead and change the border right over here i'm going to change the border to yellow and that will apply the settings to the unselected elements so let's change the border width to two pixels and over here i'm also going to change the corner radius to 10 pixels as well so let's just apply the same settings to the other part which is the amount all right so this is my design and again the design is entirely up to you based on your brand so just had to reduce the border width for the unselected to one pixel for all of them and then we have the custom amounts uh, if they click on order and they don't want to select any of these uh, suggested amounts they want to select this one let's go ahead and design how that looks okay so we're going to leave the fill and opacity i think that's fine for the border i think that's fine as well let's just go ahead and make that 10 pixels now i'm not going to go much into the design on hover i think the hover is fine as well and we can leave it that way you can also do the same for the notes let's go ahead and click on notes go to design and over here we're going to make that 10 pixel perfect for the donation notes you can go to settings over here click on donor notes settings you can decide to add a placeholder text i'm going to say leave a comment you can also decide to control the number of characters that you have to type in here. I think you can leave it at 100. However, they'll be able to see how many that they've added right over here. So the final thing for us to change is the button right here, which says donate $20. So let's go ahead and check out the settings. First of all, and you can totally decide to change the label of the button or you can also make it a text and icon I'm just going to leave mine as a text and next we have the design so you can definitely and totally change the design to match your brand i'm just going to change mine to the yellow right over there which is right here and the text which is the label right there i'm going to change that to a black color so that is much more visible and also make that bold and the hover as well i'm going to go ahead and simply go to the regular then apply design to hover now once that is done i'm going to head back to the hover and simply reduce the hover opacity background to 70 percent so that would make it look better all right so let's just add a little bit of a corner radius right there perfect so now we have our donation form and we're about to give it a try so let's go ahead and publish this then go ahead and save and we're going to view this page on the live site all right so i think it's pretty neat and we can see all the information that we entered earlier we have a goal and we have number of donations so far and we have the number of days left for the donation to close and we also have the frequency let's just go with the one time and go with 20 dollars. go ahead and click on donate here we are on the week's checkout page and we have the image that we uploaded we also have the title of our campaign and we have the information on the amount that the user selected and here if you have an account it will automatically populate this information if not you will have to fill out this information so i'm not going to make an actual payment but if ever you're looking for where the donations are you can go over to manage campaigns and over here you can go to view donations and here we have your donations for that particular campaign right over here all right that's it so if this story helped you out even a little go ahead and give it a thumbs up it really helps more creators and business owners discover these tools and if you want more smart tips like this make sure to hit that subscribe button thanks for hanging out with me again i'm walter from wix ideas until next time keep building smart and designing with purpose have a nice